Gemma, congratulations. That was pretty amazing out there. What do you take from that? Yeah, it's so exciting and it's a real confidence boost. And yeah, it's, it was really good fun as well. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, tell me about then, obviously, Glasgow, your home track. Um, does that add to it? It must have been great fun hearing that noise out there. Yeah, definitely. The crowd really helped me in that last 400 to get my position right. And I, every time I looked into the crowd and I was doing my strides around the track, I seen somebody I knew that was amazing. What was that last 400 like? Cause from your point of view, I mean, you had to work yourself to get back into that position. It was a bit frustrating because I knew I was feeling okay, but I knew I had to try and get the gap. And I was man I managed to keep patient and hold my own and hold my position and not let him push me around. Just hold the place that I was in and keep working. Yeah. The February's been pretty amazing. Has it all sunk in yet? Uh, not yet. I'll probably sit down at the end of the season and have a look and appreciate what I've done. But I just keep moving on to the next race. Yeah. Is each race giving you more and more confidence as it goes on? Yeah, definitely. And I've never run that great indoors before. And to be running well outdoor, in, indoors before outdoors this year, it's a real confidence boost. So where do you go from now? They've got goals continuing going ahead particularly, or is it just a case of taking it race by race? Well, everything's going well, so but I think we'll just continue what we're doing and working hard and pushing myself that wee bit extra in training. Because every time you race well and surprise yourself, you then take it onto the track and training and be like, if I can race like that, I can train like this. So, yeah. It's on the home events as well, so it's a British Athletics event, your home, your home track, but there's other ones also in the calendar, you know, it's got anniversary games coming up before London, is that yeah. something you'd be looking forward to? Oh yeah, I love London, and every time I run in London, I run a PB, so I just love it there, and I love coming out to the home tracks, and the crowds are amazing in Britain, and it's just so much fun. And then obviously Tokyo, is that on your mind now? Obviously I heard you say you still need to qualify, so is that something yeah. that you're looking forward to doing? I take a step as it comes and I need to qualify first. Um, I'm not right myself there, I need, no, I need to qualify first. And I just keep working hard, but yeah, I let myself dream and I let myself every training session. And when I'm getting sore, I remind myself it's Olympic yarn. If you want to make it to Olympics, you've got to be strong the whole way, yeah. What is like that and what we've seen so far this month, that must give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, a lot of confidence, yeah, and it's a good confidence boost, and yeah, it's good fun. Finally, you looking forward to seeing Laura uh, later on? Oh, I can't wait. I think I'll be the loudest screamer in the arena, but yeah, I'll be at the side of the track shouting on her. Thank you.